Hello and welcome to a tutorial by me, David, from PeripheralGames.net and today we're going to be doing some 2D in Unity. Now, bear with me, I think I'm on my seventh take, so I might be a bit frustrated, but anyways, uh, well, I got GIMP open here, um, and I got a 10 by 10 square, white square, should I say, um, that we're going to do our pixel art in. Now I'm not going to, this is not a pixel art tutorial, this is tutorial about how to do 2D in Unity. So um, I'm not going to do something fancy. So I'm just going to do the PG logo. Let's, let's do that. There we go. PG. Okay. Now, a couple of things we need to do. First, go color and color to alpha, and white is fine. So we now get a, a, um, an alpha background, and obviously that is how the sprite will display in Unity. The, the the transparent area will not show up, and the colored area will. And now, because Unity is a bit weird, um, it's going to leave white edges around the color. And I don't know why, and I haven't figured this out. So what what you got to do is just make a new transparent layer and fill it with transparency and put it behind the color and that just helps for some reason I don't know why <laughs> um, and the last thing you need to do is to scale the image up because unity will try and smooth out a small image when it scales it up in the engine so if you scale it up here and you don't lose your pixel art then perfect so you want to go image scale image and five thousand percent I have percent selected here not pixels, that would be ridiculous. And the quality interpolation is set to none, so it does not smooth it out. And ta da! 500 by 500. So file, save, and you see, oh, one minute, file, save as, because I've already been doing this. So I'm in my, my Unity Assets folder here, you see that? And then, just make this a bit smaller, um, gonna give it a name pixel and the file type uh, must be PNG which is down here still too big can't see okay so pixel and then save excellent and it'll say to you here the image should be exported before it can be saved as PNG for the following reasons um, PNG plugin can't handle layers so merge visible layers is fine do that and then click OK on that, leave all that as default and jump into Unity and there you have your pixel with a black is the transparent area and you want to put GUI on here and true color and you get the, the nicest quality then. Okay, so now to start doing the magic in Unity, yes the magic, you want to make a plane so just your ordinary bog standard plane tada and rotate it so that it is facing the camera and I know for a fact that it's now upside down so I'm going to there we go I think that's right can't really see it where's it gone there it is okay and I got directional light facing towards it and a camera set up there and I'm going to scale that down you can't really see the game view there, can you? I'll make that bigger in a second. Scale it down some more. And ta-da! That's pretty much that. We can open up the game view now. And now we need to create a material. So go to Create Material and then uh, Sprite PG will do. And in the shader, you want to put the shader as Transparent Diffuse. And then put the pixel in there, and ta-da, you're starting to see something coming now. This looks fantasmagorical. Anyways, sorry. Um, so, <laughs> now what you want to do is go to the plane and drag the material onto the plane. Ta-da! And there you go. That is 2D in Unity. And now if you orientate the... Um, the view like this and then you can just move this around and there, that is 2D sprites in Unity I mean it is that simple that is 2D and that is not GUI that is not your on GUI calling that is 
um, that is sprites in Unity. Now, obviously some people will ask how to animate it. Well, I've thought of that as well. Aha! So, um, I've developed this little very simple little script. You don't have to be a coding genius to get this. I will help you through this script, I promise you. Right? So just go up to create and C sharp script and we're gonna go animation was a fine name I think. So oh and also I should tell you that I've created in here a whole load of frames of an animation. Just to test it out. Obviously this is a crap animation as you can see. Um, but that's fine. It re oh okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um, this is just to show you I've got one through to ten of this little um, orange thing with a black dot in the middle moving across the screen. Ta-da. And obviously you can have a guy walking I don't know, something like that. So let's just open up Mono Develop by double clicking on our script file and I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it. Um, you don't need update for now. In this script you don't need update. So what we want to do is first we need to define some variables. So I'm going to go public because I want this variable. That means for anyone that's not a coding genius that means um, this variable is available to the public. Or anyone can change it. And then it's going to be a float is its type and float is for floating point um, variable or a decimal number basically for anyone else. Um, and that's going to be FPS and end the line with a semicolon and that's the name, the FPS by the way. And then the next one is a private which I can, I'm sure you can guess, means it's private and it's also going to be a float. Oop, my spelling is crap today. And this is going to be seconds to wait and you will see what that is for in a minute. And that's actually, no, there's one more we need to do. A public one called um, texture. Oh no, that's the type. Sorry. <laughs> but this is, you can see where this is going. It's a public variable so anyone can access it and it's going to be a texture and we're going to put in these two little square brackety thing Um and that means it is an array and you'll see what that is in a minute and we're going to call it frames. So that is the frames for the animation obviously. And another one we need to do is private um, int, um, which is integer, so not a variable, just one, two, three, four. It could also be minus one, two, three, and you know what I mean. Um, so, current frame, ta da, and that is that. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to create something amazing in Unity called a coroutine, and that starts with IE numerator, that is the name of the the method, um, and then we're going to give it a name called animate and brackets. Oop, okay, I failed there. And curly brackets and ta-da! This is our new method that is going to do all of the animation work. Um, okay, now we need a boolean, which is a true or false variable, um, to tell the 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 animation method when to stop and when to uh, start. Well, not when to start, but when to stop. So we're going to call it bool stop equals false. Um, Non-coding people will notice that I have not defined if this is public or private because I don't need to. It is local inside this method. So only it cannot be accessed outside of the method. So now, what do we need now? Um, uh, I'm just having I must say I'm cheating because I have it outside here. Um, okay, so first we're going to write yield, and that obviously yields a return, which is going to return a value, a new wait, ooh, a new wait four seconds. 